Scene Script Have you ever considered how corporations can sometimes mimic a labyrinth with employees lost within its intricate corridors? Picture this, a world so vast and complex, it's like stepping into a labyrinth. This is the corporate world, a universe of its own, where each turn can lead you deeper into its intricate maze. Now let's meet John. John is an everyday man clocking in at 9, clocking out at 5, adhering to the strict rhythm of corporate life. He's been walking the corridors of this corporate labyrinth for years, yet despite his familiarity with the system, he feels lost, like a tiny minnow in a vast ocean, swimming against the current but seemingly going nowhere. John's work life is a monotonous cycle, a repeat of yesterday, a preview of tomorrow. His cubicle, a small piece of the puzzle, is his world from 9 to 5. The labyrinth seems endless and John is trapped within its walls with little room for creativity or personal growth. It's not just about John though, it's about countless others who like him find themselves navigating the maze of corporate life every day. You see corporations with their strict structures and systems can sometimes resemble a labyrinth. They can be rigid, imposing, and often limit the freedom and autonomy of their employees. In this labyrinth, the power to make decisions, to innovate, to create, often lies not with the individual, but with the higher-ups. Employees like John, despite their potential, can feel stifled, their ideas and creativity confined within the walls of the corporate structure. John's tale isn't unique, it's a common narrative in the corporate world. Many employees find themselves caught in the intricate web of corporate life, shackled by the limitations of the system. They are trapped in the labyrinth, searching for a way out, yearning for a chance to break free and spread their wings. But is there a way out? Can the corporate labyrinth be navigated, or is it a trap designed to keep its inhabitants confined forever? John's tale is not uncommon. Many employees find themselves caught in the intricate web of corporate life. How often do we find ourselves chained by the invisible bonds of corporate culture? An intriguing question, isn't it? And yet, it's one that countless individuals grapple with on a daily basis. Let's delve into the story of Sarah, an embodiment of countless others navigating the demanding labyrinth of corporate culture. Sarah is a dedicated employee, always putting her best foot forward. She's the first to arrive and the last to leave. But behind her unwavering dedication, there's an unspoken struggle. The struggle to maintain a work-life balance, to breathe, to live. Sarah often finds herself sacrificing her personal time, her hobbies, and even her health to meet the relentless demands of her corporate job. The invisible chains of her workplace's culture have bound her, dictating her life beyond the confines of her office. But why does this happen? How have corporations come to prioritize profitability over the very individuals that form their foundation? The answer, sadly, lies in the relentless pursuit of growth and profit. Employees like Sarah are often seen not as individuals with their own lives, dreams, and aspirations, but as cogs in a massive machine tirelessly working to keep the corporate giant thriving. Corporations in their quest for growth often forget that their employees are not machines. They need time to rest, to recharge, to live. But in a culture where overwork is glorified and rest is seen as laziness, achieving this balance becomes an uphill battle. It's a culture that breeds burnout, dissatisfaction, and disillusionment. And yet, despite the challenges, Sarah, like so many others, continues to strive, continues to push forward. She's caught in a system that sees her value only in terms of her productivity, a system that's all too willing to sacrifice her well-being on the altar of corporate profit. Sarah's story serves as a stark reminder of the sometimes oppressive nature of corporate culture. It's a reminder of the chains that bind us, the invisible bonds that we need to recognize and challenge if we are to bring about meaningful change in the world of corporate culture. Is it possible to break free from these chains and find fulfillment in the corporate world? A question we find ourselves asking as we navigate the labyrinth of corporate culture. But I'm here to tell you, the answer is a resounding yes. Let's take a look at a company that has successfully flipped the script, a beacon of hope in the sea of corporate mundanity. This company has made the bold decision to prioritize people over profits, to see its employees not as expendable resources, but as invaluable individuals. And what's more, they've proven that this approach isn't just good for the soul, it's good for business too. This company has woven employee-centric policies into the very fabric of their corporate culture. They've recognized that their employees are more than just their job titles. They are parents, artists, athletes, dreamers, and so much more. By acknowledging and celebrating these multifaceted identities, 
they've created a more fulfilling and engaging work environment. This approach has transformed the way employees view their roles within the company. They no longer feel like cogs in a machine, but as integral parts of a vibrant living organism. They are not just workers but contributors, collaborators, and creators, and the results speak for themselves. Job satisfaction has soared, productivity has increased, and the company's bottom line, healthier than ever. It's a success story that challenges the conventional wisdom that corporate success comes at the cost of employee well-being. This company has redefined the corporate narrative, proving that a more humane approach to business is not just possible, but profitable. They've shown that it is possible to break free from the chains of corporate culture, to find fulfillment in the workplace, and to thrive in an environment that values people as much as profits. So, can we escape the corporate labyrinth and find satisfaction in our work? Absolutely. The promise of change is not just a pipe dream, but a tangible reality within our grasp. This company's success story demonstrates that a more humane and fulfilling corporate environment is indeed possible. How can we navigate through the corporate labyrinth and break the chains of corporate culture? This question leads us to a path forward. Let's recap our journey through this labyrinth. We've explored the maze that is the corporate world, the chains that bind employees to a relentless cycle and the potential for change. The key is to advocate for employee rights and well-being. It's crucial to remember that a corporation is more than just a profit-churning machine. It's a community of individuals with diverse needs and aspirations. Employees can instigate change within their own organizations. Promoting open communication is one way. Encourage discussions that challenge the status quo and bring forth fresh ideas. Strive for a work-life balance. Overworking benefits no one in the long run. And lastly, foster a supportive work environment. In the end, corporations are made of people, and it is up to us to ensure that the corporate world serves its people, rather than the other way around.